Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. The wine today is uh, from Chateau Roquefort uh, in Bordeaux and it's their Roquefortissime. Uh, Sauvignon 100% and uh, but uh, un vin or norm. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been in a barrel for 10 months, that's what it says, and uh, exotic fruits, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see whether it lives up to its billing. Well, I've just tried an unoaked Bordeaux Sauvignon from 2012, uh, just before this, and compared with, uh, with that, this smells like it's going to have a richer, uh, fleshier core, but the oak has um, almost like reined everything in and just said, right, okay, don't come out of your shell just now. Just keep there and you'll be ready to pounce when it's time. Uh, so whereas the, the regular Sauvignon felt good and fresh and here, come and get me now. This feels like it's got a little bit of uncurling to do. Uh, but I like, I like what, what's happening here. There's the freshness. Um, uh, well, uh, freshness of riper, more exotic fruits than in the uh, uh, slightly uh, nettly grassy other Sauvignon that I tried. And here uh, you're getting into maybe a little bit of the guava, maybe there's some peach in there. Uh, and not so much, I usually get tinned pear in, in uh, oaked Bordeaux, but I, I don't get that character now. But it smells like it's, uh, it's a wine that's good, but it's, it's, it's better still to come. It's got this really ripe, plummy character as well. Ripe Victoria plum um, and candied fruit, like candied pineapple. Um, uh, and then that smokiness of the oak hits you and you get that little bit of oak flavour and also tannin uh, that you feel on the back the sides of your tongue. And there's a warmth about it. Um, it's 13.5% um, alcohol, uh, but uh, I think there's, a, there's ripe fruit here uh, and that bit edge of oak as well that's giving this uh, warmer, um, fleshier, yeah, more potent uh, impression than uh, than the the, the previous uh, unoaked one. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post a link to that video, then you can have have a see and uh, see what see what I thought about it. But but here, uh, I like that exotic side. I think that uh, uh, it's uh, it's a different a different facet of white Bordeaux, and uh, it's a very attractive one too. Uh, maybe this is white Bordeaux for white Burgundy drinkers, but um, whatever it is, it's pretty decent. See you soon.